Okay, so hi and welcome to your ENG 6301 Engineering Management. This topic discusses week 13, managing the marketing function. So what is the marketing concept? So marketing is a group of activities designed to facilitate and expedite the selling of goods and services. So the marketing concepts states that the engineer must try to satisfy the needs of his clients by means of a set coordinated activities. When clients are satisfied with what the company offers, they continually provide business. The engineer and the four piece of marketing. Okay, so the engineering organization will be able to meet the requirements of its clients or customers, depending on how it uses the four piece marketing, which are as follows. Number one, the product or service. Number two, the price. Number three, the place and the last one is the promotion. Cool. So let's focus first on the product or service. In the marketing sense, the term product includes the tangible or intangible item and its capacity to satisfy a specific needs. Okay, so when a customer buys a car, he is actually buying the comfortable ride he anticipates to derive from the car. Okay, this is not to mention the psychological benefit attached to the ownership of a car. The services provided by the engineer manager will be evaluated by the client on the basis of whether or not his or her exact needs are met. Okay, so when the uh, competitor comes into the picture and sells the same type of service, the pressure to improve the quality of services sold will be felt. Okay, so when improvement is not possible, extras or bonuses are given to clients. An example is the construction company that provides free estimates on whatever inquiries on construction are received. Number two, the price. Okay, so the price or the price refers to the money or other considerations exchanged for the purchase or use of the product, idea, or service. Okay, so com some companies uh, use price as a competitive tool or as a means to convince the customer to buy. Okay, so when a products are similar in quality okay, and other characteristics, price will be a strong factor on whether or not a sale will be made. Okay, this not, uh, does not hold true, however, in the selling of service and ideas. This is because of the un uniqueness of every service rendered or every idea generated. And then we have the, the place. Okay, so if every factory is equal, customers would prefer to buy it from firm easily accessible to them. Okay, if the time is of the essence, uh, the nearest firm will be patronized. So when a company cannot be near the customers, it uses other means to eliminate or minimize the effects of the problem. Some of these means are hiring sales agents to cover specific areas. Okay, so selling to dealers in particular areas. Establishing branches where customers are located.
establishing franchises in selected areas. Manufacturing companies can choose or adapt all of the mentioned options. Service companies like, uh, like construction firm adapt the modified version. Okay, an example is the engineer manager of a construction firm who gives commissions to whoever could negotiate a contract for the firm. And then we have the promotion. Okay, so when the engineer managers have products or services to sell, they will have to convince buyers to buy from them. Okay, so before the buyer makes the purchasing decisions, however, he must first be informed, persuaded, and influenced. So the activity is referred to in the case is called promotion. Okay, so McCarthy and Perot define promotion as communicating information between seller and potential buyer to influence attitudes and behavior. There are promotional tools available and the engineer manager must be uh, familiar with uh, them if he wants to use them effectively. So these tools are as follows. Okay, number one, advertising. Okay, so Nylon defines advertising as a paid message that appears in the mass media for the purpose of informing or persuading people about products, services, beliefs, or action. Okay, so the mass media referred to uh, included the, the, the television, radio, magazines, and newspapers. Okay, so if the engineering manager wants to reach a large number of people, he may use any of the mass media depending on his specific needs and his budget. Each of the public advertising carries radio, television, magazines, and newspapers, so has their own specific audiences, and careful analysis must be made if the engineering manager wants to pick the right one. Okay, and then we have the publicity. Okay, so the promotional tool that publishes news okay, of information about a product, service, or idea on behalf of a sponsor, but is not paid for the sponsor. Okay, so the mass media is also the means of use for publicity. If the engineer manager knows how to use it, publicity is a very useful promotional tool. Okay, his message may be presented as a new item or news item, helpful information, or an announcement. Okay, and then we have the personal selling. Okay, so it refers to the oral presentation in a conversation with one or more prospective purchasers for the purpose of making a sale. Okay, so personal selling may be useful to the marketing efforts of the engineer manager if, for instance, he is the general manager of a firm manufacturing spare parts, he may assign some employees to personally seek out spare. And then we have the sales promotion. Any paid attempt to communicate with the customers other than advertising, publicity, and personal selling Okay, so this includes uh, displays, contests, sweepstakes, coupons, trading stamps, prizes, samples, demonstrations, refiller grips, and so on. Okay, so, and then we have the uh, example here. We have the objectives. So under the objectives, we have the marketing objectives of the engineer manager. And of course, it has the vehicle, which is the product, price, place, and promotion. And of course, the result will be either success or failure. And next is the strategic marketing for engineers. 
Okay, so companies, including those managed by engineer managers, must serve markets that are best fitted to their capabilities. Okay, so to achieve this end, a very important activity called strategic marketing is undertaken. Okay, so under this setup, the following steps are made. Okay, number one, we have D, selecting a target market. Next, we have D, developing a marketing mix. Okay, so let's start with D, selecting a target market. Okay, so a market consists of individuals or organizations or both with the desire and ability to buy a specific product or service. So to maximize sales and profits, a company has the option of serving entirely or just a portion of its chosen market. Okay, so in selecting a target market, the following steps are necessary. Okay, divide the total market into groups of people who have relatively similar product or service needs. Okay, determine the profit potentials of segment. Okay, make a decision on which segment or segments will be served by the company. Then factors used in selecting a target market. Okay, so a target market must have the ability to satisfy the profit objectives of the company. Okay, so in selecting a target market, the following factors must be taken into consideration. Okay, so the size of the market and the number of competitors serving the market. Okay, so the total demand for the products or service in a given area must be determined first if the company wants to serve the particular market. Okay, if there are existing businesses serving the market, the net demand must be considered. And of course, we have the developing a marketing mix. Okay, so after the target market has been identified, a marketing mix must be created and maintained. Okay, so the marketing mix consists of four variables, the product, the price, the promotion, and the place or distribution. Okay, so given a marketing environment, the engineering manager can manipulate any or all variables to achieve the company's goals. Okay, as such, the quality of the product may be enhanced or the selling price may be made, made a little lower or the promotion activity made a little more aggressive or a wider distribution area may be covered. Okay, any, any or all of the foregoing may be undertaken as conditions warrant. So for the summary, okay, so to survive, companies must continuously generate income. Okay, so to be able to do so, they must be able to sell enough quantity of their products or services. Engineering firms are no exception. Okay, so the proper management of the marketing functions helps the engineer manager Convince customers to patronize the firm. Specifically, the engineer manager must know how to use effectively the four P's of marketing, which are the product, the price, the place, and the promotion. Okay, so an activity called strategic marketing is designed to make sure that the marketing objectives of the firm are achieved. 
Okay, so strategic marketing calls for selecting a target market and developing an appropriate marketing mix. Okay, so the marketing mix consists of the appropriate levels of product quality, price, promotion, and place. Okay, that will be all for today, class. Thank you and have a nice day.